Hi, I'm Creston. Welcome to the SQL Order By Clause. First, we're going to go over a couple of slides and then we're going to get into some live coding. If you want to follow along with the live coding, be sure to check the link in the description below the video. All right, let's cover the SQL Order By Clause. So a SQL Order By allows you to order the results returned from a select statement. Uh, you can order by multiple columns or even functions, and you can even order the data across tables that you have joined together as well. So an example of an order by statement is, say you have a statement select all from posts where it has not been published yet, where the published at ID is not null, excuse me, where it has been published, and you can order that by the published at date in a descending order. So the order by follows after a where statement. You state the column you want to order it by. If you do not specify a sort order, it assumes ascending, or you could use the word desc to do descending. And here I'm doing it by published at descending and then title. All right, so let's jump into some live examples. All right, as in previous videos, I'm going to be using Ubuntu and I'm going to be using Postgres. Um, so you can free, feel free to use your own database to test this out. Uh, but I'm going to do assume the role of the Postgres user. And then I'm going to do PSQL test. This is a test database we set up by just doing create database test. I'm going to connect to it. And now I'm going to go ahead and create some tables. Um, first, I'm going to drop any existing tables. Um, so you can do this if you've followed along with some of the other um, videos that we had about this. So I'm going to go ahead and create this new post table. It's going to have a unique ID. It's going to have uh, the title of the post as a string field. It's going to have the content as well as a timestamp for when it was published at. And now I'm going to insert these four posts. Um, that include the unique ID, the title, the content, and the published at date for just some of them. Um, so I'm putting in, this is a string and this is a function. Again, if you're using your own database, you're going to have to use uh, different um, functions for that purpose because at least the um, now is Postgres specific as well as the format of the date. Okay, so now that we have that set, by default, when you're doing selecting from a table, the order is going to be undefined. So you have no idea how it's going to be returned. There's no assurances. Right now, you see it's being ordered by ID, but there's no assurance that it will uh, do that in the future. If you update, delete, do different things, um, it's going to impact the order. You, but there's no guarantee that it's always going to return by ID. If you want to do that, you have to enforce it and say, order by ID if you always want it to return that way. But let's just do something that we want to order it by the title. So it follows um, after a where statement typically. So select all from posts, order by the title. And now we see that we are now in ascending order um, by the title. And you can also do descending by specifying DESC after the column you're ordering by. And now it's going to reverse uh, the order that is returned. And again, we are using star, so we're re returning all of the columns. You can, of course, limit what columns you're going to re be returning there instead of using uh, the asterisk. And then to do a multi-column sort, you just um, add an initial column. So first I'm going to do it by the published at date. So it's going to show these. And then it's going to do it by the title. Now let's take a closer look at this for a second because published at is a little bit unique. So we're doing published at, and then you'll notice that the nulls are all following uh, at the bottom. Uh, different databases do this different ways. However, Postgres has this feature where you can specify, excuse me, specify nulls first or nulls last. So if I do this and say, uh, actually I want the nulls first because I want unpublished posts to appear at the top, you can do it like that, and you'll say nulls first. And maybe you want to have the most recent first, so you could do published at descending 
with the nulls first. So this should be a rough chronological order in how these blog posts uh, were posted if you're assuming this is going to be the next one to be published. And you could also do nulls last if you actually want the nulls last. Um, but your database may have a uh, slightly different syntax uh, for how it's going to do its order by, so be sure to check its documentation. And this is combining just some different ones where, again, we're doing the same type of sort that we did up here, where, again, ass assuming by ID, what is the next one that's going to be published in terms of blog posts, because we're doing a descending by the ID. All right, and pulling it, putting it all together, if you incorporate this in a where, you can see, you know, select all the columns from the post table where published at is null and order by the ID descending. So again, the order by follows the where clause. I hope that was helpful. If you want to learn more, you can check out my free course called SQL Bootcamp. There's a link in the description below this video.